Okay, this title effect is called simply Shimmer Title. Not really very imaginative. It was originally one of my tutorial tools that I put together. I have a little stack of things that I make for myself. It helps me put together these tutorials quickly. This thing just basically has a little shimmer effect that runs on it like that. Or you can turn off this dazzle and turn it into light rays here and then you can use the on-screen control to control the direction that the light rays travel and you can keyframe that so that you can animate that effect I don't use that very often but it's in here basically this is a default setup you can have access to the font, the size, the alignment you can use the baseline line it up on the screen real quick the basic setup is that this is centered text inside a paragraph setup that is in the title safe zone the highlight color here is the color of the uh, dazzle or glow effect from either that or the light rays the sheen is the amount of brightness you can ramp that up if you want to you can play with the dazzle controls you can make the glints smaller or larger there's a random function in this that turns those as it animates you can change how quickly it rotates and various controls with that same thing with the light rays the amount the center control basically is the thing that's attached to the on-screen control it's a glow control you can make it a lot more subtle where you can really ramp it up. By default it's ramped. Uh, this is a title screen. It has a background overlay but you can change the color to anything you like and you can blend it with the video below. Create something like that. You can change the opacity of it so that you can fade this out at the end of the effect if you want. I'm going to turn off this and turn the dazzle back on. The next section down here deals with coloring the face. You can turn it on and off. This is off. I have this set up with a gradient. In general, you can do a solid color. Like that. Or you can change the inside effect of this by adding more colors. You can use the interpolation to create banding. And just have to move it down into a region to get the effect that you want. You can change the angle so that you can get that kind of effect. Down here you can do the same thing with the outline. Turn it on and off. Same thing with the gradient. The default gradient on this is this kind of gold gradient. I'm not going to mess with that. You just saw what I do with the face. You can adjust the width of the outline too. I don't recommend playing around with that too much. When you turn the face off it automatically gets thicker. These last controls down here just control how the highlight coloring mixes with face color 
and the outline color so that the glow or the dazzle effect has something to create the glints with so that by playing with these four controls here let me get this up to full screen you can change how much or how little you want this to be effective so you can do something like that and this isn't rendered yet but you can see what the effect is by changing these so that's a real quick overview of this it wasn't originally intended to be rolled out as, as an effect this is just something that I have for a theme that I keep running through a lot of my tutorials for the typography of it hope you find it useful and I'll catch you on the next one